Moving forward, we have Central Michigan on the road at Western Michigan. The Broncos are three-point home favorites, and this game carries an over-under 56.5 points. Kicks off Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPNU. This is another rivalry game that we have here, perhaps a more notable one, or, or more well-known one, I should say. These two teams play for the victory cannon. This rivalry began back in 1906, but regular meetings began in 1925, so it is one of the older ones in the Mid-American Conference. Western, dominance as of recently. They've won nine of the last 12 meetings outright, but interestingly, I don't know how actionable this is, uh, it, it, at least it by itself. The visitor has covered the last 10 spreads, 10-0 and against the spread outright in the last 10 meetings. Central Michigan is one win away from bowl eligibility, whereas Western Michigan is one loss away from likely ineligibility to make a bowl. There's a surprising amount of stake for this game. We're talking bragging rights and a rivalry, a trophy, bowl eligibility. There's a lot going on here, and I think we're going to see these teams playing up to the occasion because they know what's at stake. The coaching staffs know what's at stake. Western, they do have an additional uh, three days of rest Having last played last Saturday, which was technically week nine, Central Michigan played week 10 match on Tuesday. So it's not a huge rest advantage, but the three extra days do make a little bit of a difference. The Broncos have struggled in the red zone this season big time, and it results in them being 106 nationally in net points per drive. But Central Michigan has so far been the cure for the common offense, as, as we say with USC. Uh, Central Michigan also in that category there. They're 131st in the country in EPA per play and 116th in success rate allowed. They're also 112th in passes of 10 or more yards nationally. So you can throw on these guys. You can get some pretty good chunk yardage. Uh, th this is an opportunity for a Western Michigan passing offense that's just been really lethargic. Uh, because it's not really what they want to do. They're, they're not out there to, to gun the ball all over the yard. Instead, they like to run the football with Jalen Buckley. He's third in the MAC in rushing this season. Across the way, they're facing a three-headed rushing attack from Central Michigan between Marion Lukes, Miles Braley, uh, Bailey, pardon me, and Jace Bauer at quarterback. Bauer's nine rushing touchdowns are third most, na most nationally among quarterbacks, and both teams give up a lot of ground game. Uh, so there, it's, it's going to be a high-efficiency rushing attack I, uh, you know, expectedly at least that that's how I expect it for me. It's central Michigan with the points uh, plus three or better. It, it, there was plus three and a half earlier in the day here on Monday, a little peek behind the curtain. I, uh, but honestly, I'd still take it at three. I think the chips win this game outright. I think they're the better football team. My power ratings make this a pick them. I don't think Western playing at home really swings the pendulum enough for me. There's only two hours between the schools. They're very familiar with each other. And Jim McElwain, excellent coach against the spread. He's nine and four against the spread as a road dog at central Michigan. So I'm taking the chips with the points, and I would be looking to them on the money line as well if you want to throw a little bit extra on there. Uh, I think Central's a better football team here.